Welcome to uh, the Red Chair. Thank you. It's nice to be here. You are head of design at Xilab. Yes. Yes. So my first question is um, about the need of a design department. Um, how does that work? I mean, Xilab is a software company. So is there a real need for a design department? I think it's a broader question you've got to answer and say, uh, do, does a company need a design department? And uh, in, in these days, design is integral to, to whatever we do. And the, the most progressive companies in this world are embrace design. So uh, for us as well, uh, we've got obviously our user interface design, but then also we've got the furniture, we've got the expos, and there's, there's a design culture, and, and we embrace that, and, and we actually hold the DNA. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's our task. So we're the, the future thinkers of the company to, to bring it together and, and, and just to, to see it from, from different perspectives. Uh, it's actually a nice position to be in, uh, not being sort of uh, sidetracked by the daily grind of user interface design or coding and things like that. So yes, definitely very essential. So um, you say design thinking, um, what is design thinking? Design thinking is, it's a coin by uh, various parties. It's actually Stanford, uh, the, the D School, where they actually look at design and say that design is integral to, ma there's, there's a w different way of thinking that, that's uh, out of the box thinking. And um, through that, it, it means that you try to teach business people to think like designers. And so companies are not driven by the accountants in the bottom line anymore, but really to look, have an over, uh, overall holistic view of what's happening, look at trends, look at uh, where the world is going, and uh, really take on uh, sort of um, into consideration the three Ps, planet, profits, and people. So, um, and, and it's really, it, it, whereas before it was just the, the profits. Yeah. And it's just basically true. <laughs> in short, uh, is to think more about your complete environment. Okay, there is a design truck. Um, why, why designing a truck? Well, uh, the nice thing about us is that uh, Nuruddin, our CEO, is this maverick craftsman and the company is taking on that that characteristic of, of Nuruddin, which is fantastic. You've never met somebody who is so alive and, and full of energy and, and looks into the future. And he bought this truck uh, before he's, uh, around about the time he started Xilab, and came with a brief and said, guys, I want this space truck. And um, the more we thought about it, we thought, oh, actually, th this can work, and it can really fit in with our culture and what, what we're doing. And um, we haven't worked everything out. We, we kind of, we, we go in directions and we, 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 we see what's happening and, and it sort of works out. Um, so if you ask me in the beginning, why the Zyre truck? Because we can, we can design it. Um, we've got the capability and we've proven that. Um, and all the reasons for it, I don't think, you know, that we can post ra rationalize about it, but definitely, um, before we started, I, I don't think we would have been able to give you all the answers. Mm -hmm. The proof in the pudding is, of the pudding is the fact that we've been to a trade show in America and the response is amazing. And then also the journey that we've been on separate to the trade shows, I mean, people just love it. It's like you, people pull off the road and they take pictures of it and, the, and it's, it's really, it, we, we're getting noticed. So for the new kids on the block, to be noticed and we've got to do something special and we refer to it as the purple cow. Something different in the room that's authentic, that means something and that is the, uh, the, the desire track to us. It's like really bringing something else out there and getting the attention that um, otherwise we would not have gotten. I'm sure you're planning more than uh, building a, a truck. What can we expect from uh, your department in the coming weeks and months? So, um, as far as track is concerned, we, we, we sort of in the background, we're look, looking at how we can really get into the environmental uh, friendly issue there and, and say, see if we can do it as an electric driven vehicle. 
and there's there's some concepts uh, about that. So, but we're going to keep that sort of, but uh, not we're not going to talk more more about that. Um, for us now, it's just to button down on our design side. We've got some furniture items that we've designed. We need to refine them. We really need to make things that are um, easy to use, friendly, uh, that people would need, and really can redefine the space of contact centers. Because contact centers in itself is, is very it's boring. People, um, there's a high attrition rate in, in people working in contact centers. Uh, it's not often appreciated. And uh, those are really the key of, of any uh, business, is to the people that have that outside connection. And we're looking at that, uh, that environment and how can you change the psyche of those people? What the small things you can do to make them happy, um, so feel that, that actually r r rather be at work than at home. Um, and if you can get that right, I think that then we would have uh, we, we hit it on, on the, the nail on the head. So really, um, it's looking at those elements and then how we can integrate that in a truck as well because we're taking the truck on the road show and some of those finished items can then be part of that and, and really show, show off the future of contact centers and where we can be going. You know, the technology is, is advancing at a rapid rate. Uh, gesture, um, just just biometrics, how you can con control things, uh, less and less we can use paper. So um, we're excited about the, the progress that's been made technolo technologi technologically. Mm. And uh, so we, we're really t um, looking at that now. So it's, it's exciting times. Thank you. Thank you for the interview. Thank you.